Get your special horoscope for the year ahead 2020 at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is in the first part of the month that we've got a sky that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a very long time. So one of the reasons is this conglomerate of planets that is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. Now the big players of course are Saturn and Pluto. This is when they are going to conjunct in this part of the sky. They will meet each other but the Sun is there, Mercury is there adding that much more heat, adding that much more conversation and mind into the mix. And across the sky, we are going to have a lunar eclipse. So the lunar eclipse happens right around the 10th. The exact uh, conjunction, the stellium of planets gets together right around the 12th. So it is that whole chunk of time that is going to come into focus for you. Well, the eclipse happens in the sign just before yours. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. So a couple of ways I see this energy playing out. Um, it is uh, where the conglomerate is taking place with this daily part of your life. Well, it is here that we see your workplace and the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. But we also see here your health related habits. Now the eclipse is taking place in a part of the sky that is also connected to habit as well. But with the conglomerate, as I'm calling it, it's habits you're aware of. But where the eclipse is taking place, it's habits that you're not necessarily aware of, things that you're doing that ultimately undermine you. And so this is a real moment of awakening for a lot of Leos out there. You realize what it is that you've been repeatedly doing, how it is it gets in your way, whether it gets in your way on a level of health, whether it gets in the way on the level of your happiness, of your fulfillment, uh, of you being at peace with yourself. This may very well be part of the awakening that finds you now. The thing is, once you've woken up, it's very hard to be asleep again. It's very hard to go back to where you were before. And once it is that you have the awareness, there's also something very cleansing about the part of the sky that the eclipse is taking place in. It really is a space of closing karmic ties and ending karmic chapters. So it's very possible you are allowing some important closure to take place at this time, but it's good. It's like it's time has come. Now with the focus of the conglomerate in a part of the sky that has to do with your daily life and the people who surround you there, it is very possible that one of these people is behaving uh, in ways uh, that might feel uh, bossy, or might feel forceful. Uh, and I say that because sometimes when we have um, what astrologers call an opposition and with these heavy players, in this daily part of your sky. It could be that a coworker or immediate supervisor is acting like they're the boss of you when really they're not, or you feel that they are not. And so that can be a moment that helps you to understand more deeply ultimately what you feel and what your expectations are. Now, regardless of what transpires, remember, this is a time of cleansing for you. That is part of the blessing and the hope and the promise of this time. As you close key karmic contracts, it ultimately is about preparing you for the new and the next and the exciting, which is literally right around the corner. It is going to be next month that we will have a full moon in your sign. That will be an important moment for you without a doubt. It is now with this lunar eclipse that we're just setting the stage. We're clearing the way so that you can reach that deeper layer of truth that is coming for you. Uh, coming up right around the corner. And of course, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way.
Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 24th is when we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is taking place in your opposite sign. Uh, part of what makes this new moon distinct is that it will be speaking with Uranus in a connection of tension. At the same time, though, it will be speaking in harmony with Chiron. So that connection with Uranus is interesting because that is one of surprise. That is one where it feels as if information about another person, because this is your opposite sign having to do with partnership, information about another person seems to come, some possibly out of nowhere, possibly by surprise. Um, and it is also possible that people, your one-on-one -on -one alliances, whether it's business partnership or professional partnerships or personal partnerships, they are behaving out of character or erratically right about now. Now, regardless of what it is that does show up, you'll be able to address it. And I say that because of that harmonious Chiron connection. Chiron right now is moving through a very philosophical part of your sky. This is a part of the sky that is connected to your worldview and your understanding of the world around you. Well, it can be now that by taking that more philosophical perspective, you're able to reach a new understanding with another person. But it is also possible that new people are coming in right now as well. And it might be these very people that are kind of hard to pin down or hard to truly understand uh, very clearly. And it could be, again, that their behavior is kind of uh, erratic in some way. Another thing I do want to add with Uranus at the very top of your sky, this does add to the element of these being professional uh, or business partnerships that are part of what is changing for you now. But a lot of Leos out there are going to experience this in the context of love. So if you're open to meeting someone new, when we have a new moon in your opposite sign, it tends to indicate that you do meet someone new. And this is part of you understanding where you are in love and why. Uh, it could be someone who comes in kind of like a whirlwind, okay? Uh, very much surprises you and you might have mixed feelings uh, about it, but it is a wake-up call of sorts, and it is an understanding your own feelings that you start tapping into the more healing energy that Chiron is promising. For those of you who are just uh, starting to date somebody, again, moment of truth energy here, where you really see something, you might just glimpse something about this person, but it causes you to see things very differently. Now, what that means for you and whether or not you're meant to move forward with this person, well, it is gonna be Chiron that helps you understand what it is that you really want to do and how it is you want to move forward from here, whether with them or in new directions. And for those of you who are in an established bond, sometimes this energy can represent some new beginnings, uh, seemingly out of nowhere, perhaps surprising beginnings for your partner in their own life but it can also be a fresh understanding between the two of you. A very quick moment could just sort of bring up uh, whether it is an issue, whether it is uh, an understanding, but at the very least, it will be an opportunity to understand each other more deeply. And the more it is that you're able to tap into that Chiron, uh, the more likely it is that the two of you will connect to a spirit of understanding, a more philosophical way of exploring what has been taking place in your relationship and a true excitement to move forward from here. What I love about this month for you, well, there's so much here, but I am going to say it is that eclipse. That's the very big news this month. Uh, the glamour has been going to Saturn and Pluto for years now. And now here we are. We are at this very important moment for the collective, but also for you as well. You are looking more deeply at how you are living in your smallest moments and asking yourself if it truly does satisfy you, if it truly does make you happy. And if it is that the way you're living your daily life helps you to feel strong, where it is that your answers have not been so clear, well, it is this moment now that's gonna help you to find that clarity, and in some cases, in an instant. Some people might find themselves going cold turkey in ways that surprise them, while others still will find this a time of true cleansing and a deeper understanding. And that is really thanks to the lunar eclipse. It is that lunar eclipse that is cleansing you on a level of soul and psyche and spirit 
and ultimately preparing you for bigger, bolder, more impressive chapters coming up ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for your 2020 special horoscope preview coming up right now. And you can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2020. This is your special horoscope for the year ahead. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing year it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. This is a very big astrological year. Uh, there are big planets on the move, big connections taking place in the sky. Now, some of it I already spoke of in the Jupiter special horoscope. And even as we dive in now, please know that there are going to be more special horoscopes coming up in the year of 2020 because it is a special year. So the first thing for you I want to start with is Saturn. It is going to be through the spring months that Saturn is going to step into a brand new sign just for a brief moment before retrograding back and then moving back in at the end of the year.